<laughs> Hello, pretty geeks, and welcome to another unboxing. I know I look a mess at the moment. I over-conditioned my hair, which makes it so touchably soft, but um, well, it looks a mess. But I have a fun unboxing today. I got another Stitch Fix, and it's a smaller box. And it is called the Stitch Fix Quick Fix. And they offered it to me for free. Not the box of stuff for free, but to no styling fee free. Yeah. Not sponsored. I don't get free stuff. But let's see what's inside. I haven't taken it yet. yet. I want it to be a surprise with all of y'all. So let's see. I did get the chance to ask for more pieces, like kind of specify what kind of pieces. So I am hoping that they listened to that. Zip paper. And um, grabbed some bottoms. I said, I like dresses. I like skirts. I'm open to pants. I just need things for the bottom half of my body. So it is again, and oh good. And I did say I love the rust color and would like more in the rust color. And it looks like I got another rust cardigan. So a little bit different style much more simple i really liked the detail specifically of the last one but it's got more of like looks like it has more of the drapiness of the gray one which was the only piece that last the last box which was last week that i kept i did keep the gray card again i love it i love it i've actually worn it a few times since all right we have a dress no a shirt oh this is unique really comes in at the waist I think it would be really awesome with a skirt it's got that kind of dusty mauve not quite millennial pink color to it very grayish but fairly cute I like it I'm not certain how it'll look on or if it will look weird especially since it's so tapered in the waist that tends to make me look chonky I'm pretty chonky. <laughs> uh, I tend to be big, big in the stomach, so that is usually how. Whoa, whoa, my brain shut off. Yeah, I'm, I'm big in the stomach, so usually I don't go with the tapered waist. Ooh. Oh, my. my lenses need to change back. I grab the mail. All right, so skirt looks like a skirt. It is. Oh my word, and it's got birds on it. I've been mocked so many times by my students for I wear a lot of bird prints. But that is super duper fun. I will try it on and see if it's gonna be long enough. It looks a little short. Like I think it normally it wouldn't be a bad length but I have a large butt and a very large tummy. So we'll see. See a very pretty floral. Ooh, and it's a dress or a shirt. I am not, not winning today. It's a dress or a shirt. Does it say? It is a dress. Oh, it's very small. It's very short. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But very, very pretty navy. I really like the sleeve detail. I tend to like, like, Cross sleeve, like three quarter sleeves um, and half sleeves, because I have these long monkey arms. And blue pants. And these are a boot cut, another navy blue. So it looks like this time the um, the pieces work together quite a bit better except for oops, except for the the gray cart not the gray cart the 
orange cardigan, which I think it would look, might look pretty cute with the, the flowers, actually. Yeah, I think, I think the rust would work with the navy. It's kind of, kind of navy, not quite navy. So, let's see the prices. Okay, so to start, the knit dress is French gray and it is a size large for $48. And my stylist was Emily and she said that she looked for a cheaper version of the rest because it was like $48. So this one is $38. And it is a medium. These Pants by 41 Hawthorne are a size 16 in navy again, and they are $78. The unique Shirt is Jolie three quarter sleeve knit top in light purple. This is a medium and it is $38. And finally, the knit skirt is this is actually the extra, extra large. Hmm. It is. $48. So that brings the subtotal to $250. There was no stylus fee for this one because um, it is a quick fix. So the buy it all discount of 25% would take off $62.50. So the order subtotal is a hundred and eighty seven dollars and fifty cents so 190 bucks for all of these and I do still have a credit from the last one of six bucks so I could get all of this if I chose to keep all of it for a hundred and eighty one dollars and fifty cents which feels like a lot seems like a lot um, there were, again, some cute options for using the items. Um, Emily's note was actually really nice. She referred to the comments that I made and I was super amped that, um, you know, that not only do they look at your Pinterest that you give them, because I keep a fashion board on my Pinterest, but I made a comment that of like a celebrity or a character that I really like. And she actually made a reference to that. So it was awesome. So I might not have the body type of Clara Oswald, but that's who I'm trying to channel. And yeah, so I'm going to try all this on and try to find a decently clear area of my living room to show it to y'all because it is partially my kitchen in boxes partially we live here partially um that's my drawing and illustrating studio right there that's my living like the so this is my couch which is covered in laundry mostly tiny child laundry which is cute and it's my dining room you know we live live in the, in the one space so i'm gonna make some space and try these on for y'all okay okay don't okay. judge me too hard because I'm in the middle of all of this. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's start with the pants. I was admittedly surprised that I even come close. They are a bit too big though. There's not a lot of stretch. So this is just the amount of gapping that fits in here. Um, they don't, they're not really quite the right length. So they're pretty roomy in the thighs and 
Um, they are covering my toesies at the moment. Like, they don't seem much like a boot cut and more like a super wide leg. So, they are holding themselves up, but there's a lot of gapping. So, I'm not certain that if I were walking about that they wouldn't completely fall down. But there's a lot of the, um, I don't know, what's it called? Where it's gappy. It's got like a flap on the crotch. So definitely, definitely too big. But I think pants are, pants are weird on me since I'm pretty large. So let's go to the next one. All right, so bird skirt feels quite nice. It is a really lovely length. I'm not sure how I feel about the gores. Um, in one way, it's a little twirly. And it's very movable, very comfortable. I've had it pulled up at the smallest part of my waist and it's still gliding over my curves pretty well. So I do like that. I'm not sure how I like how it is seamed straighter, but I think that it is fitting really quite well. Yeah, I like, I like the way it feels and flows quite a lot. So I'm going to try it on with the light purple, not mauve pink shirt. Yeah. Okay. This one, I'm not a thousand percent how to wear it. It's very clingy you can see you can actually see my how do you say that word diver diver just just diversity you can see the gap in my belly as well as like all of the detail of my breasts it's a little odd it kind of hangs like a poncho i'm not sure what to do with it it's i mean it's well wait oh my gosh <laughs> Well, that was far too fun. So I think when I was holding it up, I saw it as something that would get tucked in. So like right where it tapers, it like suctions onto my belly. So, but when you actually pull it down, I mean, it pulls down quite far. So, da -da -da. let's see. Oh, I don't know. I don't hate that. Like, I feel like maybe you could get a similar look with a baggy t-shirt. So maybe it wouldn't have quite the same floppy flowy quality. Like it's so flowy that it seems to be making like an almost cowl neck. What do you think? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not certain how appealing it looks on me. Is it a poncho? feels a bit like a poncho, but also it's soft. I don't know, am I wrong? Does it look good? Does it look really bad? I don't know. I don't know what is happening with these sleeves. I feel like I'm going to suction into them. Like they're really quite long and I don't think I like that look because that feels like I'm wearing a tight shirt under a poncho. So I was thinking if you pull them up, then at least it gives you like the illusion of the drapiness. I don't know. How would you wear a cardigan with that? That's, I don't know if this would actually match, but we're going to put it together for a moment. Cause I feel like it would bunch up the cardigan or does that make it so cute? Oh, girl. Oh, look at me. I'm going to pretend I didn't say that. You're welcome to also pretend that. So 
So it cardigan does not close. But there are tie lengths. Can I tie it? Is that a thing people do still? Is that uncool? Is that weird? Did I make it weird? Leave it open. I like this. Long enough for my monkey arms. Pretty cute. A lot of my phone is showing it as a lot more bold than it is. Just all of it is more bold. You know, the skirt is almost black blue. This is very dried blood rust, not orangey. This one even is a little bit more gray than pink. But I think I like it. Oh, hey, I think I like that. Wow. So that's interesting. That's interesting to me. Hmm. All right. I was ready to hate this. I thought it was going to be so short, so ridiculous. Like, it is by no means long. I think I would prefer it with a slip underneath, at least a, like a skirt slip to extend it just a little bit because my butt is carrying it up. But it's very soft. It's very cute. I kind of want to put like a little belt thing there. Let me see it with the orange. Let me see, let me see. Am I wrong? Am I right? Let's see. I'm going to try the tie one more time. If it's bad, I'm going to stop. But it's cute, right? Like right where the seam lines. It's got that summer seam, which I usually hate. It's right across the big part of my belly. I think I would just leave it open. I don't know. What do you think? I don't have the proper bra on for any sort of this business, but pretty comfy, pretty cute. Hmm. I'm kind of torn. I'm just kind of see maybe what their policies are on exchanges. Because you get the discount for caping, but obviously the pants didn't fit. It wasn't a problem with the style because I could see them matching a lot of things. I really... I really like them style wise, but they're just, they're just way too big. There was multiple inches of gap. So I'm going to look it up and see because I think that this would be an investment box. Like definitely not something I would really do maybe ever. But I like it. I like all of the pieces individually, which surprised me. And I think last, last time, I actually went out and I looked up some of the other pieces. Because every now and again, you know, you'll find them for a little bit cheaper. So I did that. And then I was like, okay, if we do um, pre-owned, I wouldn't recommend for some of the um, the pieces I really liked last time, like I really liked the bralette. So I, I was like, well, I'm not paying $38 for a little frou-frou bralette. So I bought it secondhand, which I would not advise doing unless you get it new. Um, specifically because everyone's, every, you know, everyone's bodies are different and some materials are going to stretch in where to fit those individual bodies. So think in some things it might not matter and in some things especially like cottons it will definitely matter so I am gonna look into it and kind of research these pieces a bit because I never thought of like the the some of the silhouettes 
here before and I definitely wouldn't have thought of some of the sizes like that skirt being an extra extra large I was like oh my goodness I'm usually a, a large or an extra large so I wouldn't have grabbed it so I maybe would have picked the wrong size and it would have fit in a really bad way but um but at the same time the the pants didn't fit and I think that's that was disappointing but it helped knowing that you know maybe I should be looking at some higher sizes for pants because I'm not always the best at uh being honest with myself about what size I am, what things I should wear. And I think it has the potential to be really flattering. So I'm gonna look into it and kind of look at the pieces I have again, kind of do some research on them. Because maybe, maybe someone else saw it and um, saw some of the pieces and what, you know, was changed their mind about them, because that happens. And, you know, I think that's one of the things I love about Poshmark and occasionally Mercari is is that you can get a lot of really good values like really good values and a lot of times they will be new attacks so I will look into it first because I think that that's much more important but yeah so so I don't have a I'm definitely keeping this or definitely keeping that answer for y'all but I hope that you enjoyed yourself and you saw something cool and I will put a code down below um, for you to try it for free too. Um, I always forget to say that in the beginning of the videos and realize that not a whole lot of people watch to the very end. So if you're here, hi, thank you, I love you. Um, have a code. Uh, it'll be in the description box, okay? I love you so much.